everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 5 of Boku no Hero Academia, season 3. Okay, so it is 4 or 5 in the morning right now when I'm doing this, because reasons, ha, anyway, because this anime decides to come out at like 4.30 in the morning, but anyway, I'm not tired at all, ha, <laughs> anyway, um, so with this episode, well, lots of fighting incurs, and, uh, well, you know, Coach is fine, Deku gets him out of there, gets him to Aizawa, and, um, Basically, Deku is, you know, pushing through the pain right now. He's he's very, on, you know, he's on a high, you know. He doesn't care about the pain right now. And I'm like, heh, he's going to feel that later. For sure. But, um, Coach is fine. He's going to be fine. He's safe. He's with Aizawa. Meanwhile, everybody else is having to deal with their situations. Todoroki and Bakugo is facing off against that guy who apparently is a death row inmate and escaped pri uh, the, wherever, you know, he was held and everything. And I'm just like, oh. Nice. That's not fun to go against. And he apparently has teeth powers because he was using his teeth to do the things. And I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> okay. So that was a thing. Uh, we'll get more of that fight later in the next episode. But um, with Class B, actually, um, Eraser gives, you know, a notice to everyone, like, you're allowed to engage in combat uh, Class A and Class B. So... We have Tetsu Tetsu and that girl with the orange hair going after one of the one making the, the gas and everything. And that was very interesting to watch. I'm like, yes, you guys can be heroes. You're actually good at this, you know, and everything. So I was actually very uh, excited to see that happen and everything. I was like, yay, everybody, you know, they can contribute and stuff. And it was great. And I was like, yay. Also, that uh, villain brought a gun to the fight. I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, wait, he can harden his skin. He'll be fine. <laughs> um, except for that was, that was like, oh, wait, the girl, you know, and everything. But everything's fine they beat that hero he was like a almost I think he was a middle schooler actually considering his uniform I'm just like oh you're very young <laughs> but anyway um, with all the other things though you know Deku's running around trying to find people Aizawa um, apparently got that guy Dobby to um, disappear but basically that wasn't him it was a like a copy of him because Dobby was talking to some other villain who <laughs> flipped him off that was funny I was like what are you Deadpool <laughs> His, uh, his little uh, outfit there kind of reminded me of Deadpool, actually. Not Dobby, but the other guy. I don't know what his name was, but uh, yeah, that was the thing. Also, the guy with the gas quirk, his name, I think, was Mustard. And I'm like, what? Okay, that's weird. Um, <laughs> So yeah, but um, the end of the episode has me very intrigued because Tokuyami is having his dark shadow go out of control. And I'm like, oh that's bad. <laughs> I'm like, that's very bad. I'm not sure how they're going to calm that and everything. Maybe Tokuyami will finally learn whatever his training has been training him for in that dark cave. So hopefully he can overcome this dark shadow issue he's got going on. Because I'm like, huh. Eh. Also, I um, kind of was hoping we'd get more of the girls, like Ochako and Suyu. Because you do see them fighting somebody with a knife. And I'm just like, what about them? I mean, can you tell me how they're doing? Are they okay? You know, I'm just like, what? worry about my girls um so yeah that was a thing but other than that this episode was very good and i'm very excited for the next one and i'm just like oh boy this is good and also bad because there's lots of villains around and this is just a bad situation <laughs> to be in right now so that's all my thoughts of this episode pretty much i mean it was kind of just a bunch of fighting and it's just like yep this is happening right now. Um, there's very, you know, lots of moments that are good, great, fine. But I'm very, I'm just really interested about Tokuyami and Dark Shadow. I really am. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I view next. Bye!